All right, guys. Hey, welcome back to Dot Hack GU. So I went ahead and got rid of pretty much everything except for the email. In the community forums, it was just a bunch of people going over old rumors, but also talking about things like the epitaph of the Twilight, which was the lore behind the first game and what supposedly the world was based around. Like I said, this the world, the MMO, has like this entire history within Dot Hack, like the fact that it was based off of an epic poem written by a woman who's no longer alive, but the poem was lost in what was called Oh, I forgot what they called the event, but it was this thing where a 12-year-old boy in Los Angeles essentially shut down the internet. So, lol. Um, so the poem was like scattered or lost or something, and you can't actually find the whole poem in its entirety. Supposedly, you can find it in Google in the real world. Real, real, real world, not the real world in the game. It's very convoluted. Um, but yeah, so the world is based around a po an epic poem called The Epitaph of the Twilight, in which they go searching for a dragon and the forum also makes mention of a guild that used to be active called the twilight brigade and that was actually haseo's guild i don't think it ever talks about it in the game it talks about it in the anime that was the guild he was in and he was in it with shino and ovon and a couple of other players but when ovon eventually just disappeared the whole guild kind of broke up the entire point of the Twilight Brigade was to find the Key of Twilight, which was mentioned in the epic poem, The Epitaph of the Twilight. Okay, cool. There, now that I've nerded out a little bit in this episode, hey look, we've got four emails, two of which are actually from Syllabus. Um, one of the two wholesome gamers that we met in the last episode, so Syllabus. Haseo, would you like to try taking on a quest with us? You may already know this, but quests are like part-time jobs for players. Basically, there are people in the world who have problems, and we help them out. By completing quests posted to the quest shop, you'll receive a reward that matches the content of the quest. So you'll be able to not only level up, but earn money at the same time. Thank you for telling me this, Syllabus, even though you are now officially aware of the fact that I was originally a level 133 player. If you're interested, there's a quest shop near the warp point in the central district of Makanu. Right now, you can probably take on a quest called the Crown Quest. If you're up to it, invite Gaspard and me. Excellent. No way. Thanks for adventuring together with me. I never would have thought you were the real terror of death. I've heard a lot about you. This was the fourth time I've been targeted by PKers. I'm just glad I didn't actually die this time. <laughs> so what are you going to do now? It must be really hard to start from scratch again leveling up so see here's where we can actually respond to them i always i always message them like i never understood like what does this mean like what is that sarcastic is it just asking information about what he's asking i'm just gonna say i'm gonna level up i'm going to level up otherwise i can't even walk around the world without feeling inadequate oh cool i can actually send this so then what does what does like what mean there's no time for me to, oh yeah ah wait what did you so what did you hear about me Oh my god, we're not gonna send that. Like, we're egotistical enough, we don't need to be asking about what we're gonna do. Send this one. Excellent. Can I respond to this one? I didn't check. Okay, no, I can't. Gaspard! So you were really the terror of death. I was so surprised. I wonder how many times I've been PK'd by now. Lol, apparently, beast race characters are really easy targets. Something like, I don't feel bad about killing it because it's just a dumb animal. Aw, that's so sad. If there's anything Syllabus or I can do to help, just let us know. So we can ask about Triedge. If you find anything about Triedge, let me know. I don't have any business with you. You were gonna be friendly? Let's be friendly, Haseo. I like being friendly, let's do that. Remember this, Pi. This is basically a repeat of what we went over before, but don't forget, your character hides a very dangerous power, and we are the only ones who are capable of controlling that power. Well, thank you for this random email. No thanks. Who do you think you are, showing up out of nowhere and spouting nonsense? Get out of my face. All right. We're gonna try and tone Haseo down a little bit. His ego is already really high up there. Just who are you anyway, lady? Do you not get how cryptic you sound? Send. Glorious. And look, hey, we've got loads of new friends. Atali loves small birds, chatting with moon tree members, and nice to meet you. Syllabus, want a new cell phone, a G Power 9 graphics card, and advanced M2D. I got your back. Whoa, look guys, we already have some friendship points with Syllabus. See the little heart up in the top left with the three orbs flying around it? We are even friendlier with Gaspard. Favorite thing, napping. Favorite food, paella. Hate, avocado and natto. Haseo, play with me. Oh my god. They're the most wholesome characters in the whole game. I freaking love Gaspard and um, 
syllabus. They're so sweet. Anyways, so Haseo is such a jerk. He's a jerk to everybody. So we're gonna ignore everything else. I haven't even looked at these two. There's so much. There's there's so much in this game. Like, I, I thought maybe I would try and go over it, like, in episode, and then as I was reading through it, I was like, there is no way. Half of it's not even really important. Like, there's a whole, there's a whole, uh, thread in the rumors forum where he's talking about urban legends. I mean, it all ties in together eventually, but not, not very quickly. <laughs> Okay, so memoir records your past actions and contains clues to your next objective. Select memoir. For, oh, okay, so that's like if I can't remember what I did last, which is kind of nice, because that does happen to me. Um, I don't know why I'm saving. Oh, it's probably good idea to actually save because then I can, you know, not forget everything. Kiosk? No. So we're so supposedly we can go and talk to. Is it here? So, no, this is just a safe shop. All right, so let's get out of here. Something about a quest shop was what he had been talking about. Oh, you know what we could do? Let's invite Syllabus. Yay, thanks for inviting me. And Gispard. Yay, I get to adventure with Haseo. Oh, look, they're so cute. You rarely, early on, rarely can you actually invite Atalie to your party. So she's in there. She's in your address book. You just can't talk to her because she's constantly busy. I think it's because she's in a party or something all the time. Probably with Sakaki. I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was with Sakaki. Quest shop. Let's accept a job. The crown quest. Kick the king, chim chim, catch the crown. Suggested PC level five. I want someone to get the chim chim crown for me. We'll be fine. We don't need to be level five. We can view, all right. So we got the quest. Delta chasing Cupid's phantom. So you'll be taking this quest. Please wait just a moment. Hello, this is the quest shop. Thank you for your patronage. We have some adventurers who have accepted your quest. Oh, and here he is. <laughs> My name is Kubo. Dr. Kubo, that is. My research relates to Chim Chims. What? What kind of research? Well, now that's a secret. I can't tell you that. Anyway, I want you to retrieve the Chim Crown for me. Have you ever met King Chim Chim? He is a giant Chim Chim that rarely appears. As his name implies, he has a magnificent crown on his head. I want that crown. <laughs> I have a few ideas on where King Chim Chim is likely to show up. I want you to go there and get the Chim Crown. I've prepared plenty of rewards for you, so do your best. There we go. So basically, it's we're pretty difficult to kick the king. I'll, I'll, well, basically, we're playing the game, like the world, not this game. This game ha deals with all of the stuff that is obviously outside of the world. Right now, this is like the actual gameplay. So we're playing a game inside of a game. King I love Chim that Chim? hack. Isn't that the huge one? Yes, it is, Gaspard. Good job. All right, neat. So let's go ahead, warp back to the dome, and then we'll go to the quest area. Go kick ourselves a King Chim Chim. Oh, I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. I, I stink in love. Like, I freaking love this series, this game. It's so good. I love Dot Hack. A lot of people don't like it because it's it's very. I could see why people wouldn't like it. Like, I'm not. I'm not that. Oh yeah, this is where you. Someone posted this on the forum, so if you read the forum posts, you'll sometimes get areas. Someone was asking where to find an item, and they said you could find it here. Why do I always yawn when I'm recording? What's wrong with me? Anyways, sorry. Chasing Cupid's Phantom. It's level 5, but uh, we'll be fine. It says there's no mission, but that's because I have the mission, and it's a story quest. A story in the world. Neat, we're here. Let's go find ourselves a King Chim Chim. I guess we should start looking for places where King Chim Chim could be hiding. Good idea, Haseo. King Chim Chim attacks by jumping on you. Oh good. So watch out. That sounds pleasant. I wonder where he is. Probably very deep inside. Um, one thing I miss is the really creepy areas that were in the original dot hack. Like there was a flesh dungeon. You can see it in some of my original like the series where I was playing the original dot hack through an emulator. Um, oh, hello, come here. Yeah, got it. Um, but I, there was a flesh dungeon. It was literally, you walked around, your your footsteps squelched. It was so bad. Um, and there were bones everywhere, and the music was really weird, and I, it was just, it was really intense. 
That was my favorite type of dungeon. Just because it was so creepy. Yes! Okay, so there's some monsters. Some monsters. We're gonna try to sneak up. Ah, oh, but I tried. We'll be level five in like no time. Yes, yes. Come here. Come hither. Let me let me smash you to pieces. Oh yeah, get wrecked. Besides, Syllabus and Gastard make up for our seat. Look, we're level five. Done. Handled. <laughs> we made it. Um, let's kick this, get ourselves some items. Um, alright, we can go this way. Just because it seems like a good idea. Just pick a random direction and hope it's... I, funnily enough, it's hope it's not the right direction. Because <laughs> then you get to see more of the area, get more stuff, and then you don't have to backtrack. So I hope I'm heading in the wrong direction. I don't think I am, though. It seems like I'm... Yeah, we got the big one. Come here. Oh, oh, just kidding. Sorry. Ignore me. I initiated a trade with, um, Gispard. Alright, cool. We got a, a large chim, so that should be enough to keep us going for a little while. There's some monsters in there. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Yeah! <laughs> Aw, oh, get get wrecked. Woo! Oh man, it is so cool having Gaspard in the party. He's actually like a really decent character. He's a grimoire user. Which is adorable, actually. Everything about Gaspard is adorable. Some of the characters can be really irritating. Like Atalie can be kind of irritating. Um Gaspard can sometimes be irritating, but I just... Syllabus and Gaspard are probably my favorite characters in this whole game. If you couldn't tell. Um, there, there is one other character that we aren't going to see for ages, but he is definitely a, a very strong contender for favorite character. Because he's the most ridiculous, hysterical character. He's so over the top. And he's also a reference to the original game. But you wouldn't know it unless you played the original game. They, they literally don't say it. It's... It's not something that's explicitly said that he's actually a character from the original game. One of them, it's really obvious that he's a character from the original game, but uh, the other one, he's not obvious in the slightest. Unless you've played the original game. Um, actually, What's technically, that? you wouldn't know the second one either. What is that? It's adorable. It's a new way, Haseo. It's a new way. We've got to kick it. <laughs> we've we've got to kick it. Um, Haseo. King Chim Chim will show up if you kick the Nui. Oh, got it. So, we just need to kick it. Yep, you got it. Go, go, go. I think I have to sneak up on it, though. This is a mysterious animal known as Lucky Animal that lives in this area. Approach and kick it to receive various blessings. However, there are also unlucky animals that bring bad luck. They have the angry symbol on top of their heads. Oh, got it. Oh, good. Thank you. Received a blessing from the lucky animal. Summoned King Chim Chim. And now we have to kick this guy. This is King Chim Chim. If you keep kick King Chim Chim, he will get angry and attack you. Repeatedly kick him and evade his attacks. You will receive massive amounts of Chim Spheres. Stop time. Let's get it over with. Oh, boy. Hand that over. Alright, here we go. It's time to, uh... Oh, 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 oh. Okay, good. Alright, he's going to attack me. And we kick him a bunch of t <laughs> What a weird mechanic. Yay, we got him. Excellent. Give me your chim spheres and your crown. The chim crown, ladies and gentlemen. I knew you could do it. Thank you. I, you are, your belief in me is extremely appreciated. I thought we were gonna turn into pancakes. What's us? Never. We need to go to the quest shop. Excellent. Uh, we could probably just. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's it. Successful surprise attack. <laughs> Apparently, that's my weakest thing is surprise attacks. Oh, you're back already. That was fast. I forgot his voice already. It's turning into Margaret. <clears throat> Handed over the chim crown. 
Yes, this is the chim crowd, all right. <laughs> Just staring at me. I'm surprised you were able to retrieve it so quickly. <laughs> Have you... How, how would you feel about doing some work on the side for me? There's something I want you to help me with. My home is in the mercenary district. It doesn't matter when, but please come visit. We'll discuss the details when you do. Farewell. So, there's a quest line that we've opened up for the game The World. Yay! We get a text of wisdom. Oh, that's the only job. You have new email. Oops. Alright, you know what that means. Let's log out and go read our email. We just ditch our friends. Leave them. Alright, see you guys. I gotta go read my email. Oh, goodness. Hang on, guys. I, I'm gonna try and show you Sam. <laughs> He's just sitting there with his paw over his, his face, and it's super cute and adorable. There is an important unread mail in Mail Station. Alright, let's see. There are new emails. Ooh, CC Corp. A campaign. Dear Haseo, thank you for your regular patronage of the world. This is to inform you that you can now participate in the Chim's Kicker campaign. For details, please talk to the NPC client, Dr. Kubo. Dr. Kubo's house is in Macanoo's Mercenary District. Neat. Atali. Since you insisted, I decided to email you. There is an area that I love and I was wondering if you would like to join me. The area is Submissive Tragedies 1000 Oaks. Interesting. All right, so we're apparently gonna go somewhere with Atali, Hokuto. You can really only pair up with her when it's story, and that's story, that's like progressing the story. How have you been, Lena? Been doing all right? Things been going terrible in my real life as usual, ROTFL. Whoa, whoa, Hokuto. Who the heck are we get, Lena? Is that my, is that my real name? I know it's summer vacation for students right now, but how are you doing with preparation for ex entrance exams? You're into science, right? That's amazing. For a literary major like myself, I just respect anyone that can do math. So how did your meeting with the guidance counselor go? Personally, I just chose my college because, uh, yeah, because one of the professors here wrote one of my favorite books. Um, this is something I haven't told either to him or my parents. So in a way, I did a very specific, I, ha I did have a very specific goal when I came here. Of course, your major is going to be different from mine, so I guess my opinion won't be much help. Sorry. Still, I don't think there are that many people at all who go to college with a specific goal in mind these days. I think it would be great to figure out what it is you want to do during the four years you're there. In my case, I still don't know what I want to do, even after turning the big 3-0. Although, I was still able to become a translator. I think... Give my best to your brother. I think that's someone that was in the guild with them, but I can't I can't remember exactly what the purpose of that email was. Black Rose. Well, have you calmed down a bit since then? I feel like I've managed to get back to my life. I do feel kind of lonely at not being able to log into the world though. But since I refuse to let Kazu play online games, I can't justify playing them myself. Are you play together with Orca? Okay, now I know, because this is definitely a reference to the original game. So these are not emails directed to Haseo. These are emails direct- This one in particular is directed to Kite. So we have a random email that was sent from Black Rose to Kite. Back then I didn't have any idea as to what was going on. I was just plowing ahead, doing whatever was set before me to do. I'm so glad we managed to resolve it. So here's why I'm emailing. I wanted to say this when we had that offline party, but I wasn't able to work up the courage. I'm glad I got to know you. Sure, it was a surprise when I found out you were younger than me, and when I saw you acting so insecure, I may have yelled at you a bit, but if it wasn't for you, I think I never would have been able to help Kazu. If I had tried to help him all by myself, I might have ended up just like he did. I think it was because you were there that I was able to go as far as I did. I think it was because you were there that I was able to make it to the end. So let me say this back to you now. If you had been there, I could never have done it. Thank you. I think I might be in love with you. Psych! I might still log in from time to time. If I do, I hope you and I can have a nice, normal adventure together. So I think these two are not to Haseo, obviously. I don't know if the second one's even to um, Kite. That could be to someone else, because I know Kite... You could decide his name, so that wouldn't make any sense for them to dr address him as Lena. Also, I forgot to mention, I changed the background because I went into the community forum and got a whole bunch of pictures, which you can see here in the accessories and backgrounds. Yep, here they are. Here are all of the ones that I've downloaded. 
So obviously some people drew some of Haseo, like this one, PKK Haseo. And then this one, Black PKK. They don't know it's Haseo, but it's it's obviously Haseo. Anyways, I think this is a pretty good place to stop this episode. I know it's a lot shorter than the previous two episodes, which were upwards 50 minutes. But now that we're not quite doing story, you know, epic pieces of the story. The next episode is probably going to be a long one though. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode and I hope you're enjoying this series as much as I am because this is literally my favorite game, like ever. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!